Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna slow down the pace. We're gonna relax. I want everyone to take a deep breath in through the nose. And out through the mouth. Today, we are gonna be talking about self-care and just general wellness. This is a topic that's really, really important to me. Some of the messages that I get, my most favorite messages I get are from you guys that say that I have helped you look after yourself and I've helped you like make yourself feel better. I've encouraged you to look after yourself more. That honestly, it makes me so happy. So I thought today what we could do is sit down and, and talk about self-care in a really easy way. The very basics of self-care for me start at home. It's all stuff that you can do at home. I had big plans for this video. I thought it was going to be a very cinematic experience. <laughs> I think it's turned into basically like a vlog of me not talking. So um, we'll see how this goes. I hope you like it. But if you take anything away from what I say today, then I'll be happy. So what I'm going to do um, is talk you over uh, a self-care day that I actually had myself and I vlogged parts of it which we're going to lay over this video so you can kind of see and hopefully get the kind of experience that I'm wanting you guys to have for yourselves and like I said it's basic stuff it's stuff that you probably do already but doing it in a bit more of a kind of ritual or doing it all in one day and taking a day for yourself is what's going to make the difference here. So the first thing we're going to start with is breakfast. I have the same breakfast nearly every morning. I have half a grapefruit and a cup of black coffee. One thing that I will mention is my coffee intake. I have decreased. I used to have too much coffee and I'd wonder why at the end of the day I was a jittery mess. So that is something that you can do if you feel that you do get anxious. Have a look at how much coffee you're drinking because I personally am not an anxious person but enough coffee can absolutely make me spiral. <laughs> so that's how I start my day every day. I make sure that I have even just that half a grapefruit and it's nice and healthy and it makes me feel good, which is what this is all about. The next thing is a bath. Let me tell you, there is nothing more indulgent than a bath in the morning or a bath in the middle of the day. See when it's bright outside and you're having a bath, it's the best. I don't know why, but for me it just, is the most like luxurious thing. It's because you're being luxurious with your time. You know, like who on earth has a bath in the middle of the day? Only people that really love themselves. When you're having your baths, use nice products, you know, treat yourself to a nice pack of bath salts. I actually have run out, so I didn't use any when I was making my bath. There's certain oils that I really love. I, I make sure that I'm using nice products in my bath that, that make me feel good. One of my favorite things to do as well is light candles around the bath. I have a bath caddy that I have my laptop sitting on for watching films. So I can watch a film in the bath or watch TV shows and stuff. It just makes me feel really happy and relaxed. When I was doing my self-care day, I made sure that that I did everything. So I washed my hair, I did a hair mask. And another thing that I make sure I do is I have a nice cup of herbal tea. I'm obsessed with my herbal teas. My favorite are probably the pucka teas. They're really nice and the chamomile is really good. So the turmeric blends. I can list everything down below for you guys that, uh, that I'm talking about as well to make it easy. But I love having a herbal tea with my bath. And then get out the bath, do all your skincare. And we're gonna start that by moisturizing your whole body. When was the last time that you actually spent the time doing that? I know that I hardly ever do it. So as soon as I got out of the bath when my skin was nice and soft, I moisturized my full body and then I went and did a face mask. So doing a face mask is luxurious in itself and you always kind of think to do it, but taking the time to actually do it is a different thing. You know, I, I wish I could do more face masks. And then once I removed that, I went on and did my full skincare routine, which just like, imagine you're sitting there, you've had a bath, you've washed your hair, you've done your full body moisturizer, you've done a face mask, you've done all your skincare. You're feeling great. You're feeling squeaky clean and you're feeling good. The next thing for me, and I think it's because it's an effort, but once you've done it, it feels great, is to dry and style your hair. This is gonna make you feel even more kind of squeaky clean and fresh, freshly squeezed. When you style your hair, it lasts more than a day. So I actually have still got a nice wave in my hair from my self-care day. So it does, it lasts. It's something that you can do and then you know that you've done your hair and it's gonna look nice for the next few days. My next thing, is so simple but it really makes a difference and it's to put on super comfy 
clean clothes. This doesn't need to be pyjamas, it can be joggies, it can be a comfy jumper. For example, I have my Drogba jumper on right now. Just make sure you put gorgeous, comfy, clean clothes on, it will make you feel great. And then something else that I love doing is even on days where I'm wearing no makeup and I'm just lounging around the house, I'll always put my hoop earrings in and spray perfume. I also love spraying perfume before I go to bed, it's one of my favourite things. I just love the way it makes me feel and yeah, I just love smelling nice. The next thing that I'm gonna talk about is doing something that takes your mind off everything. This can be loads of different stuff. For some people it's sitting and watching TV. Me personally, I can't watch TV without doing something else at the same time. So like usually I watch TV when I'm doing my makeup or I'll sit and watch TV and I'll be on my phone. So that for me is not it. But something that really takes my mind off everything is reading. So when I'm reading a book, I can't think about anything else. And it's the same with playing games. I am a secret gamer. I love my Nintendo Switch. I love stealing Jack's PlayStation. I love my PS2, I've still got it. And that is something that I can do and it completely takes my mind off everything. And this isn't a, like taking your mind off everything sounds a bit negative, but it basically means that you are focusing just on this one thing that you really like. It's just like a rest. It's a rest from the busy, hubbub in your head which you know it's everyone we all like live such busy lives and it's a tricky time at the moment so to be able to take your mind off stuff is really really important and just have a bit of your time without having to worry about anything the next thing is moving your body now this can be a bit daunting to some people um i personally i don't think i'm a huge lover of exercise i don't get excited about working out i don't get you know the urge I've tried a million times. I'm sure that you guys have seen me talking about, you know, I'm starting running, I'm starting this, I'm starting that. Up until the wedding, I was going to Cycle Box, which was amazing, which was my, my Mandy, who was my PT, and I loved that. But now that, you know, I've not, I don't really feel like I've got anything to proper get ready for. I mostly just do stuff that requires moving my body, like cleaning or sorting out the garden or walking the dogs, that's enough. So if you don't feel like going up like this day that I had my self-care day, I did not want to go for a walk because it was horrible weather. So I put on a stretch video by Yoga by Adrian, and I just did that and it, honestly, it was just like rolling about on the floor. But afterwards I felt great because she leads you through your breathing and even though it's really minimal, you're still moving your body a little bit. And afterwards I did feel super calm. So you can start off in the tiniest little ways and if you are super into your fitness, then working out, I'm sure that I don't even need to tell you, it does make you feel good. Next thing is good food. So good food is different for everyone. I like to kind of watch what I'm eating because I know that certain things won't make me feel good while other things I know that are fueling my body will make me feel great. So for us on this night, for me, good food in, in this kind of self-care realm is not having to cook. I don't like cooking. I cook if I have to. I love the idea of having a little bit more free time to learn how to cook, but at the moment, I just can't really manage that. So this, this, weirdly, this Charlie Bingham, these meals that you can get, I think we get them from Sainsbury's, but it's the closest thing to a home cooked curry that I've ever tasted, but all it requires is for you to put it in the oven. So this is me and Jack's like favorite thing at the start of lockdown, this is like we ate this all the time. It tastes really good, it's not super bad for you at all, it's not like getting a takeaway, but you don't have to do anything. So it's like a happy medium. For some people, self-care is eating completely clean. For some people, self-care is getting a takeaway. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't matter what it looks like, but whatever it is, just make sure that it makes you feel good. Like getting a treat and a takeaway can make you feel good. So it doesn't really matter what it is, but just make sure that you're eating stuff that you enjoy. And also like, don't force yourself. If you're feeling like getting a certain type of food, just get it, you know? It doesn't, as long as it's not every night, I guess, and it's super unhealthy, but just don't put too much pressure on yourself, basically. And that is all I filmed. So honestly, those things are things that some people will do like every day, probably. But you know, some of us forget to schedule in a little bit of time for ourselves. I think it's a funny thing. I know a lot of people that, find self-care and looking after yourself to be selfish because you're taking this time for yourself. But I think it's the total opposite. I think when you look after yourself, you will be the best person that you can be, which will mean that all the people that really love you and care about you see that version of you as well. And I, I was thinking about it with my mum and dad because I, you know, I love looking after myself and doing all these nice things for myself. It must make my mum and dad feel so relaxed knowing that 
I'm a person that does look after myself and that, you know, I am put, I put myself first sometimes to make sure that not only my physical health's in check, but also my mental health as well. So I think that there is not one person in this whole world that couldn't benefit from taking a day or a half day completely to themselves. It's like, it's like a famous RuPaul, what does he always say? If you can't love yourself, how are you going to love anyone else? And it's the truth. It's the total truth. Another thing that I'm actually working on myself is when my head feels really full, writing down what it is. So if there's loads of stuff swimming around up there, you've got a lot of stuff to do, you're quite stressed out, write down what it is that's stressing you out and physically putting that on paper, you feel like you can slowly empty your brain because you don't need to think about it because it's written down somewhere so you know it's sitting there. That helps me a lot. When you write that stuff down as well, you can then create a to-do list and then you can kind of figure out what it is that you need to do right then and there and then what stuff can kind of wait till another day you don't need to do it today and at the same time once you've done that why not try writing down things that you're really grateful for so I try and do five things and it's so simple it doesn't need to be big huge things feeling grateful for having a roof over your head or feeling grateful that you managed to have three meals that day or you know feeling grateful for your friends or your family or it doesn't need to be huge things you can be grateful for you know one kind thing that someone said to you that day it's it's as simple as that thinking about that in a positive way will make you feel great it just will it's crazy how the brain works and then obviously all the stuff that we kind of talked about just now is stuff that you can do at home. There are also a list of things that you can do for yourself that requires you going and booking in and doing something. That could be going for a massage, going for a facial, getting your nails done, cupping and reiki. I had cupping and reiki a couple of weeks ago and it made me feel great. There's just so much stuff. Going for a walk, going for a holiday, like just being able to treat yourself and not feel like you're being selfish is so important. Yeah, I just wanted to make this video because it makes me so happy when people say, I've started, you know, doing nice things for myself and I feel really brilliant. And that is the name of the game. So I think that, you know, <laughs> if I was doing this again, I would probably just vlog a day where I'm looking after myself. I can absolutely do that in the future. Um, maybe we can get like go out and get some like treatments or something done. I just really wanted to talk about this because it's something that I really wish that everyone did because you know when you do look after yourself you feel better, you shine brighter and you're happier so the whole world, I'm such a hippie. What I'm going to do is I'm going to write down all the products that I used in my little kind of self-care day. I'm going to write down every, all the kind of steps that I took as well. Sometimes all it takes is for a list to be written for you to be like, right, these are the things that I need to do. And honestly, I guarantee you, if you do half of these things, you will feel great afterwards. Um, this is really good if you're feeling like you're struggling, but it's also good if you're still feel, see if you're feeling great and you do all these things, it would do nothing but amplify how great you feel. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. It's a little bit different from me. Let me know if this is helpful at all. <laughs> if you don't find it helpful, don't worry about it. You don't need to tell me. And yeah, I hope you all look after yourselves and I will see you in the next video. Welcome to my boudoir. To, you know, really work on themselves as well. How many times did I say yourself there? Take a, sh take a shot every time. <laughs> this is the best Monday night I could ask for. Why are you talking? This is for my video. Oh, it's just montage. And I've made you feel, I've helped you make, bleh.